We sure are not going to miss Senator Jim Bunning, the Republican from Kentucky who will not run for a third term this year and is, bet and is bitter about it because he says the Republican leaders in the Senate have tried to dry up his fundraising. But what excuse can be made for a senator so bitter or stubborn or mean-spirited that he decides to be the lone holdout for extending short-term unemployment benefits to the millions unemployed in the worst recession since the Great Depression? Senator Bunning resisted repeated attempts to pass the bill last night by unanimous consent, which was necessary because so many senators had already left town for the weekend unaware that Bunning was going to block a bill that everyone else was in favor of. The bill would extend unemployment benefits set to expire on Sunday, but it would also extend health insurance assistance, assistance for people who have lost their jobs. But Bunning was not budging and even mentioned how he was sacrificing because he was missing a college basketball game. I want to assure the people that have, <laughs> that have watched this thing till a quarter of 12, and I have missed the Kentucky-South Carolina game that started at 9 o'clock, and uh, it's the only redeeming chance we had to beat South Carolina since they're the only team that has beat Kentucky this year. And uh, all of these things that we have talked about and all the provisions that have been discussed, the unemployment benefits, uh, all these things, if we'd have taken the longer version of the, of the uh, job, exp the job bill, that was a mutually agreed on bipartisan bill. We wouldn't have spent three hours plus, almost three and a half, telling everybody in the United States of America that Senator Budding doesn't give a damn about the people that are on unemployment. At one point, when Senator Bunning was sitting in the back row of the chamber, he was asked by two Democratic senators to drop his objection to the bill. Bunning was overheard saying, tough blank. So the Senate adjourned today, and the bill will have to wait until Tuesday, when the Senate again has enough members to bypass Bunning. Meantime, some of those benefits will lapse. Senator Dick Durbin, exasperated, said, quote, I just don't think that one senator ought to be able to heap this kind of suffering and misfortune on people who are already struggling in this economy. And Bunning's stunt drew this response from White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs. The White House would call on Senator Bunning to uh, agree to uh, uh, agree to even vote on his own proposal uh, so that the Senate and the House don't leave town with the health care benefits and the unemployment benefits of those that have lost their jobs, uh, that those we would not see those expire uh, over this past weekend. Let's bring in the Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones, also a columnist for Politics Daily, David Korn. David, the first part of the story is obviously Senator Bunning. Uh, now, there is always a silliest senator in the body. Bunning has been that man for quite a while now. But no one, even knowing him as they do, no one saw this coming. I mean, in the, in the list of Bunning craziness, is this about the nuttiest thing he's done on the Senate floor? Um, this is the biggest curveball or knuckle-headed pitch of his career. I mean, he was a Hall of Famer baseball uh, uh, legend. He had the second number of strikeouts, highest number of strikeouts, when he left the game. And he's gone from Hall of Fame to Hall of Shame. It was a massive blunder on his part. But as you've noted, he doesn't seem to care. He's not running for election, but uh, he hasn't seemed to care for years. He's known in the Senate for not giving a damn about what's going on. He missed the historic vote.
vote on health care reform. Uh, last year, he disappeared from the chamber for a week without explaining it. Uh, there's a long history of bunning bizarro behavior, and this is the culmination. He really hit it over the fences uh, on, 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 on this move last night. And you would think that maybe unemployment is running around 2% in Kentucky, but no, it's up over no. 10, over the national uh, average rate. Did in the some Democrats counties, it, and Harry, go I ahead. I just saying, in some counties, it's even much higher than that in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. and, and did the Democrats and Harry Reid maybe miss a chance here to stay on the floor with him and highlight Republican intransigence through this one senator blocking something that 99 senators want? Well, I spoke to some Democrats about that. They took several runs at trying to persuade him to be reasonable, and he kept saying, no, no, no. Uh, they could have tried to invoke cloture and stay, you know, keep in the session, but they're coming back, they say, on Monday, not just even on Tuesday, to work on a long-term uh, plan to extend benefits for a year, not just for a month, and that this will sort of incorporate what they did. It seems to me that uh, the bunny did a pretty good job of drawing attention to himself. I'm not sure how much more uh, there was to gain by the, Repu by the Democrats keeping the Senate in session uh, to make Bunny look even more foolish than he did. Now, even, re even though Republicans know he is their greatest embarrassment in the Senate mm -hmm. and they begged him not to run for re-election, the party leadership, still we had uh, Republicans go out there yeah. and say positive things about him. You had uh, Senator Corker saying that the holdout, the one-man holdout, he said about that, that's something we honor in this body. Well, it's something that they have to live with in the body, but most of them do not honor it when 99 want to pass something and one doesn't. I, I mean, if they yeah, kept out, if they stayed out there with Bunning, wouldn't we get more of these kind of lame statements from Republicans? Well, I think what I think what happened. You heard you heard a tremendous deafening silence. I mean, this happened last night, and we so we've had almost a whole day now. And where are the Republican leaders denouncing Bunning or criticizing him? They are not there. They you know, they've run for cover. Corker did defend him, and this is and what's stunning is that they basically don't like Bunning to begin with. He's been at odds with this with the Senate uh, Republican leadership for a very good reason, and here he pulls this boneheaded move. And they still can't come out and say, we disagree, we want to come back in and work in a bipartisan manner with the Democrats to get this thing done. So I think the... David Corn of Mother Jones. We're going to wrap it there, David. David Corn okay, of Mother okay. Jones, thank you very much for coming in tonight. Sure thing, Lawrence.